in today's video we are going to be looking at who could see the best risk for tornadoes this april and this upcoming active severe weather pattern before we could get into the video be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and to our post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream just like this right now we're looking at my forecast for this tornado potential this april and as you can see in the first color which is the red color on the very outskirts of the dark red and the pink colors we have a slightly above average region this is what where you will see some slightly above average tornado activity happening in this region this is including the majority of the midwest the plains the more eastern half of the western united states all of the south the uh, mid-atlantic the southeast ohio valley is also included in this region you are going to see a slightly above average tornado activity happening this april it's also including all of florida as you can't really see the southern half of florida there but all of florida and texas is included in the slightly above average region you also now have a exceptional region where you could see exceptional tornado activity happening in the dark red region definitely expect more act tornado activity to be happening in this region than march so we're gonna definitely gonna see more tornado activity happening more northward this april and even more westward we could see some more tornado activity now lastly we have a more outbreaks region and this is where you could see some more outbreaks like we saw um with this year's march we definitely could see some more of those outbreaks some more repeats even some more high risks we definitely could see some more high risks this april with some upcoming systems that i am really keeping an eye on for this region and i even highlighted a white region where we could see definitely two or three more major tornado outbreaks happening in that white region right there in the right half of the pink region so that was your forecast for the tornado potential this april now let's go ahead and go over the active severe weather pattern for the first half of april right now we're looking at the precipitation type gfs model and as you can see we have this winter storm just exiting the northeastern region right now and we also have those rain showers still going on for the southeast but they are going to exit very soon here now as we move forward throughout today there's pretty much nothing going on in the u.s we have a high pressure over the midwest right now and also a low pressure forming over here in portions of the southwest now this low pressure is not going to be a system at all it's just going to be simple low pressure here this is not the system we're keeping an eye on and this high pressure also is bringing some much cooler temperatures uh, for the majority of the midwest however you're going to see some much warmer temperatures coming just in time for easter sunday for uh the majority of the midwest here for the northeast for for easter sunday you're not going to see that many warm temperatures for the northeast sadly but the majority of the midwest here for this tough region you are going to see a very warm easter sunday and now as we move forward here to around monday and this is just going to be right after easter sunday so april 5th here you can see this low pressure forming and this is going to be just to the south of idaho into utah you're seeing some definitely some widespread snowfall over here in northern california nevada oregon washington is all seeing that snowfall now moving into idaho you are starting to see that snowfall as well you're starting to see some major snowfall once you get into the morning hours of tuesday and you're seeing definitely some very heavy snowfall over here we're definitely going to see some more winter storm warnings uh, maybe some winter storm watches coming out by sunday or saturday for that region right there and as you move forward into midday of tuesday you're seeing some rain showers just east and northeast of this low pressure and this low pressure keeps moving southeastward and you are starting to see uh this cold front approach the midwest uh this cold front is going to be around this type of region here this could definitely trigger some severe storms if there is enough ingredients in this type of region right here this is the same system we are going to keep an eye on for some possible severe weather across uh, the midwest so you can even see another low pressure forming uh, for a little bit there around late week and this rain this whole system now is moving into around the middle atlantic once you get into around late week so thursday now thursday 9 9 a.m you're seeing that whole system now moving in uh two portions of 
the mid-Atlantic and the northeast. And you're still seeing snowfall up here in the north. Definitely good to see a couple inches, even multiple inches of snow will be expected over there in the north here. As you're moving into around Friday now, you're seeing another low pressure system which could bring some more severe weather down here in the south for Friday. Now, this is where you're getting to the over 200 hours out time frame. So, this is not going to be as accurate, but this is pretty much showing you what systems may form uh, for some severe weather potential. And you're even seeing some strong thunderstorms down here by the time we get to uh, late Friday into Saturday that may trigger a severe thunderstorm event down in the south. From here until Easter Sunday, it's going to be mainly quiet. But once you get past right after Easter Sunday here, we're going to see a very active, severe weather and even snowy pattern uh, for the north. For this whole region here, we're going to see a very active, uh, severe weather pattern. And this is what we discussed in my last video, which was uploaded about two days ago. So make sure you do check that out. If you haven't already, we discussed uh, the same pattern that we are looking at right now. We're not getting to around... Uh, April 15th and it looks to be mainly quiet uh, for the next week or so once you get to around April 13th or April 14th we get into another quiet pattern but it should start back up, up again once you get to around the uh, April 20th. Now, as we head forward here to back to this low pressure system that will hit around just after Easter Sunday, let's go ahead and look at the severe uh, weather ingredients. So, let's look at surface based Cape values. This is the energy. It's going to be really high up in the atmosphere that triggers storms. It's kind of the fuel for storms. As you can see, this is April 6th. This is around 6 p.m. You are seeing upwards of 2,000 joules per kilogram, and this is around the Nebraska and Iowa border. You are seeing some major uh, Cape values, especially for early April. You're seeing some very strong Cape values, and this could really trigger some storms here um, if there is no cap, which if you do have cap, it's going to be really hard for storms to develop, which it looks like we may have a bunch of cap around the region. However, that dissipates right when the storms do develop. We still do have some cap around the region there. We're seeing upwards of a negative 50 joules per kilogram. So if this is not a capped event, we could, we could definitely see a pretty decent severe storm event uh, happening in this region right here for Monday into Tuesday here. So definitely stay tuned for the, to the channel for um, early week next week. We definitely could see uh, a severe weather event in the around the Midwest region. If we even look at supercell composite, which again, this is capped. So um, this is really big uncertainty with this event. But if you look at supercell composite with this uh, first one, so this is a very late Easter Sunday, 6 p.m. Easter Sunday, and you are seeing upwards of 9 to 10. So you are still, you are seeing a very decent chance for some supercells in the southeastern region of Nebraska. Definitely a marginal slight risk uh, will be issued for around this type of region right there. Uh, but nothing major. But once again, once you head into uh, Monday here, we definitely could see a slight risk uh, guaranteed with this one. But again, it's capped and there's not much of a chance for tornadoes with this setup for Monday. Uh, but mainly wind and hail we could see a slight risk issued uh for around this type of region right there again definitely stay tuned for the channel because if this is a big enough severe weather event i may be doing a live stream uh, for monday uh, on the severe weather event so definitely stay tuned for that if we even look at energy helicity index uh, again, this is the energy within the atmosphere. Again, this is not storm related velocity, but energy helicity index. So this is just energy that's going to be within this is not actually rotation uh, that might be within the storms. As you can see, we're seeing enough energy here. You are seeing uh, 2.4 up to 3. You're seeing a bunch of energy that's going to be able to fuel these storms here. And again, into Monday. So Sunday and Monday is going to be the main days for this severe weather events across this type of region right there. So definitely stay tuned for the channel for a possible live stream on this severe weather event. Mainly it's going to be uh, wind and hail with this one. but So there's a lesser chance I may be doing a live stream. But again, we may see a 2% or 5% risk for tornadoes 
um, as there is a pretty decent chance for tornadoes. But things will definitely change in the upcoming days here. If we, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel. And make sure to share this video with any friends or family that may like this type of forecast or maybe even in the path of this upcoming system. Also, special thanks to our members of the channel, Illinois Sound Op, Carson Huber, Jack's Rail Fan Network 2020, Bill Man, and Miss Garrity 1958. You can become one today for just a dollar and we even added a new level for $15 which can get you early access to new videos, mainly seasonal forecasts, but even some other videos I may schedule, you will get early access to those. But again, thank you to all the members. You can become one today for just a dollar, and that's the lower perk, but you can also become, you can get more perks the more you go up. So two, so $3 and then $5, I can get more perks for those. But like I said, we added a new level for $15 which can get you all of the perks including discounted merchandise if you if you would like that also but anyways stay safe